News 6 and ClickOrlando.com are celebrating Pride this month. After making history as her school's first transgender homecoming queen, a local student is ready for the next step in her journey. News 6's Eric Sandoval spoke to the high school graduate about her big plans for the future. You know, I got like so much support from it and like just it just skyrocketed from there. This Instagram post from Olympia High School heralded an historic moment. The school's first transgender homecoming queen. I think I remember the peop the teacher who runs it like told me like I got the most votes like in history. So like I thought that was pretty cool um, to just know that I had all that support. Evan Balasuknia came out as transgender just a year ago. I would say like people ask me the most like like, how long did you know, like, when did you know you wanted to be a girl? Evan's mom shared these pictures from when she was a child, a boy who played football, but preferred to play with dolls. And so when you know her, you, you love her. In high school, after months of counseling, Evan began taking hormone therapy just before the start of her senior year. Evan says she always enjoyed support from her classmates, but she felt singled out when she wanted to continue playing sports. In 2021, Florida Governor Ron DeSantis signed the Fairness in Women's Sports Act, banning trans kids from playing sports. You know, like I wanted to try out for lacrosse this year and I couldn't because it was against the law. And I don't think that's fair. I mean, I have the same levels of estrogen, testosterone and any other cisgender woman. I should be able to do you know, the same things that they can do. A few months later, the governor signed the Parental Rights and Education Act. Here I stand. I'm not backing down. Critics called it the don't say gay bill. It's wrong. What you're doing is wrong. And like, there's just no reason to be discriminating against anyone, no matter what it is. This isn't like a gay, straight, male, female. This is a human rights issue. And, you know, we're not trying to take away anybody else's rights. We're not saying you can't do what you want. We're not trying to, trying to indoctrinate anybody's children. I mean, that's just the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Evan graduated from Olympia High School in May. Her next stop now, Florida Atlantic University. She plans to get a degree in business management or marketing and then move to New York City. Eric Sandoval, Getting Results, News 6.